So this is an electrical cabinet we are going to learn about. But before we dig into e-plan and the schematics and everything, let me tell you a little bit about my team on this project, about the factory, the customer we worked for, and some special requirements from our customer on this project. So about my team, I'm an electrical designer. So everything related to schematics, circuit diagrams, to ordering material for the cabinets, for the site cables, for example, and coordinating things between customer, PLC programmer, workshop or panel builder. Those are my usual tasks assignments. My colleague is the one who signs a contract with the factory, with the customer. He has a company and as mentioned he works as a PLC programmer. Now the great thing about him, about my colleague PLC programmer is not only does he know how to write a good program code, but he also knows the technology and that's something that differs the PLC programmer and the PLC programmer that knows technology. Also our workshop, our panel builder, those are the guys I worked on many projects, large ones, smaller ones, and they are a great team very reliable, punctual and they always get the things done in the best possible manner. Now about this customer, it's a confectionery factory so they are producing candies, waffles, cookies, chocolate over there and we have been working for many years for this factory mostly on projects where they, where they need to modernize their control system, power system on the machines, on the production lines and so on. In most of the cases the mechanical part of a machine or a production line is still okay, reliable, you can use it almost forever, but of course the control system, the PLC cables and everything that's something that you need to change for example every 20 years at least now on this project they reached to us and asked us if you, if you could make an offer to design program and commission this control system on, for this machine those are those were our main tasks so to design to create circuit diagrams, to wire a panel, electrical cabinet, to create a software program for this machine and to, of course, on the side, to connect everything, the cables, and to commission the whole system. Now the special requirements were, for example, they wanted a Siemens PLC. In this case it was S7 1200. It's a PLC for, for smaller applications, suitable for machines like in this case. Another special requirement was that they wanted a designated safety system for this machine because in the previous version of the control system, because it was an old system, they didn't even have a reliable and safe safety system. So that's something we had to pay attention to when I was designing the control system for this project. We'll cover that one later on in detail about the safety system. Also for the switch gear, for the contactors, Motorola switchers and for the power elements they wanted also Siemens. And now in the next video 
we're going to slowly start to go through all the schematics and see how this looks like in the circuit diagrams in ePlan. So as you can see over here, I put the photo, imported a photo of this panel. So this is an S-built version in reality. And this is the one I've designed. I've designed this in AutoCAD and imported the DVG file to ePlan. Same goes for the cabinet, for the backplate or mounting panel. But as I said, we'll cover that one, all the sections in ePlan, later on in the next videos.